Welcome to my Breaking 4 series where I break for iconic rookie cards and current rookie stars. Today we are breaking for the 1989 Don Russ Ken Griffey Jr. And here we got some blister rack packs from Don Russ 1989 and we'll be breaking these in a minute. Some other key rookie cards we're going to be looking for are the Kurt Schilling, Craig Biggio, Randy Johnson, Gary Sheffield, and John Smoltz. There's some other good rookie cards, but those are the ones we're going to focus on. But before we break this, let's take a look at the values of these key cards. All right, first up, we got the Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. Here on Beckett, we're looking at the conditional pricing, which is $12 for mint, all the way down to $0.40 cents for poor. And if we look at the graded pricing, for a gem mint 9.5, value is $120. And that's the goal of the day, to find a Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. We can get graded for a 9.5 or higher. Now let's quickly look at the population report, which shows you how many of these cards have been graded by Beckett. A total of 12,551. Never a black label, 10. But there has been 16 10s and 668 9.5. Next up, we got the Kurt Schilling rookie card. Conditional pricing on Beckett ranges from $6 for mint down to $0.20 cents for poor. And the graded pricing is $25 for a 9.5. On the pop report, we show a total of 4,096 cards have been graded by Beckett. Never a black label 10, but 110 and 544, 9.5. Now we have the Craig Biggio rookie card. Conditional pricing, $4.5 for mint, $0.15 cents for poor. And graded pricing, gem mint, $20. Population report shows us a total of 2,627 cards have been graded. Never a black label again, but four tens and 286 9.5s. Next up, we have the Randy Johnson rookie card, which is a known error card. Conditional pricing, $3 for mint, down to $0.10 cents for poor. And graded pricing, $30 for a 9.5. On the pop report, down here is the Randy Johnson, 4,629 total graded by Beckett. Never a 10, never a black label 10, but 345 9.5s. Now we're looking at the Gary Sheffield rookie card, conditional pricing, 225 for mint, down to 7 cents poor, and graded pricing, $15 for a 9.5. And last up, we got the 1989 Don Russ John Smoltz rookie card. Conditional pricing, $2.25 for mint, down to $0.07 cents for poor. And graded pricing, $20 for a gem mint 9.5. Now that we took a look at the key cards, let's start breaking. I got here six of the 1989 Don Russ baseball rack blister packs. And you can see these things are falling apart. There was glue holding them together. Uh, these things are brutal. It'll make it easy to open though. So let me open one of these up and then we will take a look at the packaging. Even the plastic is falling apart. Stack these up. That will be our first pack we're going to look at. Here's the packaging. You can see here each pack contains 75 cards and 9 puzzle pieces. That will give us a total of 990 cards I believe that will be breaking today. And this is a 660 card set, so that's a great chance for a Ken Griffey Jr. Let's start it off here. And of course, these things falling apart. We'll be lucky if we can find a 9.5. Oh, there's our first rookie. Great hit, Kurt Schilling. Some soft corners. That's one of our key cards. Probably the second best card in this set. Definitely off center. I'll put that aside. Nice Cal Ripken MVP card. Cal Ripken's always a good card to find in any set. There's our first puzzle piece, which is the Warren Spawn puzzle. Maybe we'll build that up later. Tony Gwynn, Diamond King, Carlton Fist, Diamond King. There's another Kurt Schilling. Two Kurt Schillings. This one's better centered. Definitely one soft corner, a top one. Take a quick look at that. Zoom in. Right there, you can see a little ding on there. 
But nice. Two cursed shillings in the first box. It's a good sign. Second puzzle piece. That's Greg Maddox. Wally Joyner. And the rest of the first pack. All right, not a bad first pack. We got two Kurt Schillings. All right, let's open up this second pack. And of course, a lot of these cards, these packs might not have 75 because uh, some of these cards fell out in the box. I actually have a stack back here that are part of these. I think it's from the bottom one that uh, I might as well go through those next. But uh, yeah, these cards are falling apart, which is not good for the corners of these cards. But it is what it is. I've owned these cards for a while. Just decided to open them up for you guys. Ryan Sandberg, Paul Molitor, Paul Molitor MVP. Couple nice cards there. Nothing else there. Checklist. George Brett MVP. Felix Jose, rated rookie. When I was collecting this set, his car was worth some money. Not worth anything really today. A couple cents. If anybody wants one. Wally Joyner, MVP. Alright, not much in that pack. Let's actually just, yeah, let's just leave that down there. Most of that's from there. All right, pack three. Still looking for Ken Griffey Jr. Who else are we looking for? Randy Johnson, Craig Biggio, John Smoltz. That's Will Clark. Carlton Fisk. There's the Warren Spawn puzzle. That's what it should look like when you're all done. Bo Jackson. Will Clark MVP. No strawberry. There's also a Jose Canseco uh, card that was exclusive to Blister Pack, so I'm not sure if this is the Blister Pack that they were exclusive to, but it would be nice to be uh, to pull that card also. His regular one's him batting, and then there's one of him, just a close-up shot of him. Nothing really in that pack either. Let's keep going. Pack number three. Wow, this one's really falling apart. Will Clark, George Brett, and a puzzle piece. An upside down card. Another Warren Spawn puzzle. Ryan Sander, Dawson MVP. Tom Gordon upside down. Harold Reynolds and Harold Young. And Warren Spawn's eyes. Come on, Ken Griffey. All right, nothing there either. We were off to a good start with the first pack with those two Kurt Schillings. Oh, yeah, this one's, this one's light on cards also. I bet that last stack is a little of this one in the next pack. That's a Billy Ripken rookie. Oh, it's the second year. That's right. Nice Nolan Ryan. 
Nolan Ryan's always a good card. That's actually a solid card. A little off center. Tony Gwynn, Diamond King. Ozzy Guillen. That's actually a Ozzy Guillen rookie. No, it's not. What am I talking about? Don't listen to me. What am I talking about? Be on Omar Vizquel. Omar Vizquel's in this. Yeah, we also got Steve Finley, Jim Abbott, Sandy Almar. Those are some other rookies in this set. Nice Wade Boggs there. BJ Serha. Gary Sheffield. There's our second key card. A soft corner on the bottom, unfortunately. A little off center. But still, we got a second of our key card. So far, two shillings. And now a Smoltz. John Smoltz, rookie card. Another one of our key cards. So we got three of the six key cards so far. Nice Ricky Henderson and Don Mattingly. And our puzzle. Alright, let's open this little thing here. This is part of the bottom of this one and the last one we just opened. So overall, that was a decent pack. Even short on some cards that we're looking at now. Tony Gwynn, Diamond King. Paul Martyr, MVP. Mark McGuire. And Mike Maddox. Greg Maddox's brother. Alright, moving on. Pack 6. Might as well finish off the bottom here. Paul Mauder, Dave Winfield, MVP. The stack is about to fall. Better start a new one. Alright, keep on keeping on. I love breaking because you never know what's in the pack. It's exciting. Ozzy Smith, MVP. Carlton Fisk. There's our first Sandy Alomar Jr. rookie card. Not a key card, but one we're looking for. And a Mike Sosha. I'll give a shout out to Mike Sosha. Brought the Angels our first World Series 2012 over the Giants. Oh, Randy Johnson. Nice Randy Johnson there. Very centered. Ah, one soft corner, bottom left. Unfortunate. Other than that, it's a nice card. Little dot there, too. Still, hit a Randy Johnson. That's nice. I think we checked these out already. Go through them really quick. Yeah, we hit those. And a puzzle piece. Kyle Ripken MVP. And nothing. Next up, I think I'll be uh, breaking for some Bryce Harper slash Mike Trout. I have a box of 2012 that I've been itching to open. So I think that will be my next episode. Kirby Puckett, MVP. Will Clark. Barry Larkin, third year card. Oh, this was like the best one right here. This one's pretty solid. Card should be in better shape than this one. Tony Gwynn MVP. Hopefully our Ken Griffey is in this pack. This is a nicely preserved pack. Nothing in the first stack. Nice Wade box. Don Mattingly. 
Wally Joyner MVP, George Brett MVP, Hall of Famer, Ryan Sandberg, Robin Yap, giving some shout outs, Craig Biggio, that's our first Craig Biggio rookie, uh, that's pretty solid, except maybe the top there, this is actually a very solid card. So I like to put my cards, but I think I did great in the card saver, number one. Let me pull a couple of these out and have them ready. This is my favorite choice. Uh, they're a little oversized, very easy to get the cards in. And if you're looking to send out any cards to get graded, they prefer you put these in, put your cards in the card saver. That way they can just cut it out. It reduces the risk of any damage. That way let's cut it out and then uh, pretty solid card. Maybe a tiny bit off center, but it could get a PSA 10. But I'd probably throw this on the Beckett. Maybe we'll get a 9.5 out of that. I think we went through these. Let's take another look. We did. So, uh, who are we waiting for? Just Ken Griffey Jr. is the only key card we didn't get. And that's what we're breaking here tonight. Breaking for Ken Griffey Jr., of course. This is a pretty solid pack, too. Kirby Puckett MVP. Come on, Ken Griffey. Nothing there. I'm going to put my Craig Bijou up. I don't think I've seen a Jim Abbott rookie card either. Or Steve Finley or Omar Vizquel. I probably could have passed them by without paying attention. Nice Cal Ripken. Off center though. Yeah, then after the Mike Trout, uh, nice Don Batting with Diamond King, I'll probably uh, be doing my 1982 Tops break. Well, I'll be breaking four. You know it. Cal Ripken Jr. We'll go from Ken Griffey to Bryce Harper slash Mike Trout. Gotta include Mike Trout in there. Second year card. Two. Cal Ripken Jr. Nothing in there. Come on, Ken Griffey. And nothing in there. Jose Canseco MVP. And nothing. That pack had absolutely nothing in it. I would say these ones were I was like the best pack. Wow. Just a couple of these on the bottom held up, which is a good sign. Sticking. Not sliding. Tom Gordon. I see at least three Tom Gordons. I'd like to see three Ken Griffey's. And 
Ken Griffey Jr. is a uh, purple card, kind of like that color. That's Ryan Sandberg. Paul Molitor. Paul Molitor MVP. A couple Hall of Famers there, but not what we're looking for. All right, looks like one more chance. One more chance to hit our Ken Griffey. It's just the last one out of the key cards. And the one we really wanted to hit. Roger Clemens, off center. Pretty sharp, though. Always nice to hear Roger Clemens. Mike Schmidt. This is our second Craig Biggio. Nicely centered. I'm going to throw this one in a card saver also. Looks fairly nice. Two Craig Biggios. Those are the nicest cards we pulled. Quality wise, of course, the Kurt Schilling is valued a little higher, but those quality are pretty nice. Nice Nolan Ryan there. I have to put my Nolan Ryans aside. Another Kurt Schilling. That's our third Kurt Schilling. Soft corners. I'll just put it aside. Our third Warren Spawn card, too. But yet, no Ken Griffey Jr. 